Hungry ladies. Do you want your breakfast? You humming for your breakfast. Hmm? Ooh. You got stompled, Brindle, by the stampede. My goodness. You all right? You good girl. That was a bit of a surprise, wasn't it? Oh. Oh. You wouldn't believe. I groomed her yesterday and look there's hairs already coming out i had a bin bag full small bin bag full of her hair but she's gonna have to have another going over it's constant at the moment oh the alpacas are cross with the sheep this alder i had to restake it and uh, now the restaking is rubbing it. So I've had to undo it. You can see the rub there. Hoping that this is strong enough now to withstand the rain and wind. So I've wobbled this out and I'll take it. And it'll go and restake another tree somewhere else. In this plantation, this is the alder plantation and there's oak trees this is an oak tree i grew from an acorn it's looking great it's probably about eight years old maybe there's another oak tree that i saw that is drowning in grasses oh no it's not an oak tree from the other side of the fence i thought it was an oak tree <laughs> hogweed here is um a gilder rose, another gilder rose, and you see there's the alders are shooting up. They're really, really fast growers. So this alder better catch up or it'll be shaded out. But I can probably go around and loosen these uh, stakes. So glad to see this oak. It is really shot up since I planted it here. Let's see, there's the rowan. There's a horse chestnut over here. Where is it? There it is. There's a horse chestnut I planted. And somewhere in here, there's something else. At the moment, it's just grasses and nettles. Well, there's somebody else in here. Maybe, maybe there's not. Oh, yeah. There's a rowan. There's a bit of the rowan. Oh, poor baby. Oh, baby, you're being inundated by grasses. There. So here's this rowan. Somebody was reaching through and grazing it. So it's been topped a bit. But it should now grow. Then the other side here, you can see there's more um, alders. There's a spindle, you can see the pink of the spindle. Then there's an oak there, more rowans, another oak there. This was a huge oak tree that came down in a storm a good few years ago now. It was a gorgeous oak tree, I loved it. It was kind of like a sister to the great oak over there, but in this section of the farm. There's a lime tree there. Again, the sun rises over there, that's east, that's south, west is up there. So north is over that way. Isn't that right, pup? Look at Inca Lakes getting on the log. Clever dogs. I'm gonna let the yos into this field. There's plenty of grass in here. Whereas there's scant grass in the field there at the moment. I'm going to walk up and check this plantation out as well. This is full of oaks and cherries and gilder rose and rowans and spindle. These beech trees are doing lovely. These are ones we planted 10, 15 years ago. That one, that one, then the one beyond. But this one in the middle died 
We had to replant it. Always planting trees. Now. Hey girls, come on. Come on girls. Come on. Good girls. Hey babies, come on! Come on! Come on babies! Atta girls! Uh, two lame yos. The one on the right, I've been treating with antibiotics and all kinds of stuff. Ah, Java! Leave it! Come on girls! Come on! Java, leave it! Come on girls! So I've been treating her and I don't know what's wrong that year right there. Java, come back. Look at that. Heads all down underneath the horse chestnuts because they love, love the horse chestnut nuts. That's one of their great passions. Every time you release them into a new field where there's horse chestnuts, they rush to the location where the horse chestnuts are falling. passionate about horse chestnuts. So this plantation, this is a Gilda Rose, goes up this in between these two fields. And this is planted five years, four or five years. Um, no, four years. Look at all the yarrow. Now, also in the spring, this is where loads of um, cuckoo flower is and that's great for the orange tipped butterfly so it's great to see the yarrow there hopefully it won't suppress the cuckoo flower look at this i might have two different kinds of spindle here you see that's pink and then you come here and that one's really really red and look at that one seeding like crazy isn't that brilliant the birds love their seeds Whereas this one hasn't seeded at all. Neither is that one. But they do that sometimes. So here's one of the three oak trees. More Gilda Rose. A cherry. More spindle. Another cherry. This is uh, another spindle. You can see the seeds. The seeds are so beautiful. I love the seeds. They're so funny how they're pink and orange. Some rowans. Here's another oak tree. Now, this oak tree, I'm debating leaving it or pruning back. See, it has one, two, three, four, five different leaders splitting off. And sometimes you want to have a main leader going up. But it might be nice to have this tree to branch out a bit, kind of like a cup. Whereas the other two, that oak tree there, and the oak tree up here, which we'll come to, which is my niece's oak tree. I planted the acorn. Uh, it sprouted the year she was born. So it's her 11 year old tree. Anyway, that one might be pruned or I'll leave that for debate. More spindle, Gilda Rose, Rowan, cherries. Look at the rowan berries. Birds love these. And it's actually quite beautiful mixed in with the seed heads of dock. Look at that, they're almost the same color. The uh, Gilda Rose leaves and the dock, but the colors are fantastic. So here is a huge, not a huge, but it's a big butterfly bush. And this oak tree, See, I pruned back. It was all over the place and I gave it a single leader, partially because I don't want it to spread up here because this is a gated entrance here. So you come through this gate. And so I wanted to go straight up and bush out. Whereas the other one can spread. At least that's the thought. Look at the color of this um, dock. Isn't it gorgeous? Anyway, that oak tree, and look at this Gilda Rose. It's been pruned 
right here, the Gilda Rose, but those leaders have taken off. It's funny, pruned by the alpaca or the sheep or the horses. Anyway, those are two more of the plantations that I'm keeping an eye on and that have been growing for a while. Now I gotta find what's happened to the alpaca. They never came down to the fence. You guys, you missed out on the field change, but it's actually good they missed out because I don't want them to um, browse. Like I said, I haven't picked up, fixed up the electric fence yet. Come on, guys. Come on, Brindle, leave it. Inca! Java! 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 Uh, not gonna do too much damage. It's been a windy, wet, blustery day. Feeding the boys. It's getting dark. You lot have had your meal. You're fed. I'm not feeding you twice. You've had a very nice meal. And you've got shelter from the rain. Whoops. Woohoo. Did you get bollocksed at Java? No. Okay, gotta go feed horses and other sheep, the flock out in the field. You guys have shelter, you can come in here. Shelter from the rain and a lovely big straw bale. Lucky lambs. Those two are just persistent in thinking they want more. <laughs>